Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is I, the one, the only, Mr. Noli, and welcome to a different video today. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to upgrade the hard drive in your PlayStation 4. So, I've decided that since I have to keep deleting games and reinstalling them if I ever want to play them again, it's just a hassle to keep making room and deleting games all the time. So I figured I might as well just upgrade from 500 gigabytes to a 2 terabyte hard drive, which we are going to be installing today. Um, the materials you're going to need to do this are obviously a new hard drive. I went with the Seagate Backup Plus Slim, um, 2 terabytes. If you don't need to use the Seagate, but I recommend that you do it with uh, do it with the hard drive that is 2.5 inches, not 3.5. Otherwise, it won't fit into your console. So make sure that um, yeah, it's 2.5 inches. Something else you're gonna need is a USB stick, preferably one gigabyte or more. And also, what you need is a screwdriver. Um, I have like a toolkit here, but what you're gonna need is a flathead screwdriver and a Phillips screwdriver, so, which is basically like a four, it's called like four arms on each side. That'll help you with the screws when we're actually opening up the console. And the last thing you're gonna need is an extra hard drive to back up all of your data onto. So when we're actually transferring data and adding a new hard drive, we wanna make sure that nothing is uh, deleted. So all of the memory from here is gonna go into this bad boy right here. So I guess you kinda need two hard drives for this. But yeah, this is just to make the process easier. Just a quick note before we actually get into the tutorial. Um, I bought this at Best Buy for a hundred bucks on sale. And uh, I live in Canada. So a hundred bucks is a pretty good deal, but uh, if you're watching this from the US and you live there Then you could probably find the Seagate Backup Slim Plus 2 terabyte for probably 90 bucks Maybe even less if you look on Amazon or your American Best Buy, maybe even Walmart has them But uh, yeah, I just thought I'd mention that Just in case you were wondering about the price Alright, so step one is actually going to be backing up your PlayStation 4's data Um, sorry about the camera, I'm kind of too lazy to screen capture right now I figured this would be much faster. Before we start backing up our data, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our trophies, and we're actually gonna synchronize them because, sorry about the glare on the screen by the way. So it says syncing trophies with PlayStation Network. This is just to make sure that uh, if you like made any progress in the past couple days, they don't lose your trophies when we actually back it up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna synchronize it to the PlayStation Network. It's a pretty quick process, and there we go. That's all we really need. Okay, so now you need to plug in your extra hard drive. So I already have it plugged in up there, as you can see. And uh, yeah, that's all you gotta do. This is just to make sure that you can actually back up all the 500 gigabytes of data that you've used up in your PlayStation 4. So make sure you got that plugged in. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to settings. Um, actually, before you do anything, go to power save settings, and then make sure you set a time so make sure it's set to do not turn off in case you're backing it up and it happens to turn off then you don't want that uh... that's fine that's fine alright so now we can go into system yep there we go then we're gonna go to backup and restore haha alright so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna back up the playstation it says a usb storage device is not connected interesting i'll be right back Alright, so I'm not exactly sure why my extra external hard drive is not working. However, if you do have the same problem and you happen to be a PlayStation Plus member, then what you can do is, um, because all your files should be automatically saved to the cloud. So, um, I just got a 32 gigabyte USB stick, so all I'm going to do is save my captures, save data and settings. I don't really need the applications, I can just simply reinstall that. So, I'm going to hit next, and you can do the same if you have PlayStation Plus. But if you don't, then um, I'm sorry I can't really help you. Well, I guess all the saved data might be able to save onto the USB stick. So if your external hard drive, the extra one, is not working because I keep getting that notification, just get like a 32 gigabyte USB stick and you should be fine. So yeah, just uncheck the applications thing. Just note that you will have to reinstall it. But yeah, alright, so let's get into the formatting process. Alright, there we go. Preparing to back up. Now, this can range anywhere between half an hour and four hours. Yeah, it's just really, really, really unpredictable. Hello. <laughs> now, don't be alarmed if your PlayStation turns off. It's just resetting. So, yeah, it's just resetting itself, and then it'll actually prepare to back up the 
Back up the data. So like I said, it can range anywhere between half an hour to four hours. All right, so there we have it. It's backing up right now to the 32 gigabyte USB stick that I'm using. For the first couple minutes, it normally just calculates how long it's really gonna take. I really doubt it'll take three hours. Well, it might take three hours, we'll see. But um, yeah, it's not a short process at all. It can range any anywhere between like an hour and five hours. I know I'm really wonky with the ranges, but it really just depends on how much data you actually have on your PS4. But that is the end of step one, and while that's happening, we are gonna go on to step two and actually download the update which we need when we're restoring the PS4. Alright everybody, so now we are on step two, which is downloading the software update. Now this is the step where you're gonna need your one gigabyte or more USB stick. And yeah, we're basically just gonna install the software update so we can put that in the PS4 when we restore it. So to start off, you're gonna go to the following link. Uh, it's up there, playstation.com slash enus slash support slash system update slash PS4. I will put a link in the description if I can remember to do that. So when you go there, you are gonna download the latest um, update right there. So let's click on that. Okay, and right there, it's downloading. Um, what it suggests is that, where is it? You make, on your USB stick, you make a PS4 folder and an update folder. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Okay, so now we have our PS4 update. It's in the downloads. Now we can drag that into the update folder. And then that'll do its thing. So make sure that, um, because over here it suggests that you capitalize PS4 and update. Maybe just do the same in your USB uh, stick, it, just in case there's any problems and issues. But yeah, that's that's a pretty quick step. That's the end of step two, and right now we're gonna go into step three, which is actually preparing the hard drive, and uh, I'll, I'll let you know what I mean by that in just a sec. And also make sure that when it's complete, that you safely remove the USB stick. You don't want any problems with the update. So just go down to the bottom right corner, and then click safely remove, and yeah, you should be good. Perfect. Okay, so I have just unpackaged the hard drive out of the box right now. Um, so yeah, this is the hard drive. It's actually very, very tiny. It's uh, like smaller than the size of my hand. So yeah, so now that you have this out, you can unbox it. Uh, now what we gotta do is we need to get the flathead screwdriver. Um, I'll get the thinnest one. What we're gonna be doing is we are going to be prying open the white case. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be prying it open so we can actually take out the hard drive from the case. Uh, this might take a little while, so just sit back and watch me struggle, I guess. <laughs> I really hope I don't break this, but I'm gonna upload it whether I break it or not. Because this is funny if I do break it. Oh, I think I got it. There we go. Yeah, it's glued shut. See, if you look up there, there's a bit of glue there. All right, well, that case is finally off. Now what we gotta do is, that's not gonna come out. So what we gotta do is now we gotta pry the, pro the hard drive. Uh, don't do it on the motherboard side where the tin foil is. Do it from the bottom, just to play it safe. This is like the sketchiest step, but don't worry, these hard drives are built for tough. Okay, we almost got it there. Oh, there we go. Haha. -ha. Alright. So, <laughs> that's the hard drive right there. Um,. Now what we gotta do is we gotta peel off this foil. It it's basically tape. Um, yeah. Okay, that actually didn't take as long as I thought. Uh, this part here is like tape, so you gotta watch it along the top. Yeah, right 
there. Okay. Okay, so we basically peeled off all the foil. That's the hard drive. What we got to do now is we got to take off the. Let me fix the camera actually. What we got to do now is we got to take off this top uh, motherboard here. So. I'm hoping you'll just slide off. There we go. <laughs> a little bit of effort, but uh, that's it. Uh, you might wanna, you might wanna actually keep this for your old PlayStation hard drive. You might be able to use this for your computer. Maybe. Uh, don't quote me on that, but I'm gonna give it a try. See if that does work. So we can put that to the side. Okay. So now that we peeled off the tin foil, we got rid of this uh, motherboard on the very top. It looks like we are ready to go. It looks. Pretty dang new, good to go. I can't tell if that's bent or not. I really hope it's not. But uh, otherwise, I think we are ready to put this into the PlayStation. Um, actually, maybe not, because we got a little bit of time left in our backing up process. So I'll do that when that's finished. But yeah, that is the end of step three, preparing the hard drive. And then the next few steps will be actually installing the hard drive into the console. Alright, so now we're on to step 4, which is swapping the hard drives and installing the new one into the console. So, the first thing you want to make sure is make sure that your console is unplugged so there's no electrical shock or any accidents happening. Um, so yeah, once you got it unplugged, the first thing you want to do is slide this top part off uh, if it's going to comply. It takes a little while sometimes. Here we are. Black case is off. I can put that to the side. Um, okay, so this is the inside of the PlayStation 4. I'll show you guys right here. Um, so the hard drive is right here. So what we're going to want to do is... I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me just show the camera. There should be a PlayStation screw right there. It's got the triangle, the square, the circle, the X. What you're going to want to do is take your... Um, I need to remove my flathead. And put in a Phillips screw into there. All right, there we go. Now you're gonna want to take this screw off. All right. So yeah, that's the PlayStation screw. If it'll focus, work with me here. Come on. Focus. There we go. See, it's got the controller stuff on it. But yeah. Okay, so we got that screw out. Don't lose the screw. Put it on the side somewhere. Okay, so now what we're working with here. This is the old hard drive right here for the PlayStation. And then on the side of it, there will be four bolts on each side. What we're gonna wanna do is just take these bolts off. And there we go. Okay, so we got the four bolts. See, that just easily slides right out now that the bolts are there. If you take a look, the drives are pretty much identical. There's just a little extra thingy on uh, this Seagate drive. Um, this the PlayStation starting one is a little bit thinner. This is probably a 9mm, this is a 12mm, but that shouldn't really make a difference when it's in the case. So we can put this one off to the side because now we are going to put in our new hard drive. Okay, so now make sure that this uh, chip part is going on the top. And you're going to want to slide it in this way and put the bolts back on. So let's do that. Okay, that's our last bolt right there. The drive is snug. And now we should be able to just slide it on back in. You should hear a click when it's in. Yeah, it should be in. 
Okay, there might not always be a click, but it should stay pretty dang snug in there. And then, once it's back in there, you can put this PlayStation screw back in where it originally was. So let's screw that back in. And ta-da! Alright, so that's pretty much it. Now that you've got your hard drive in your console now, now what you can do is you can take the black cover again and slide it back on. I think it'll fit like this. Yeah, that should be good right there. Awesome. So, yeah, I guess that's basically it for step four. Now, this is step five where... Do you see my reflection in the PlayStation? Haha. <laughs> Alright, so now that we got the new hard drive in there, we can go ahead and set it up. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, this is the final step. And uh, once you plug in your PlayStation back in, after you put in the hard drive, you're going to want to take the USB stick with the software update on it and just insert that into your PlayStation so that it can restore that operating system when we turn it on. Now, pay attention to this step because this is um, very important. So you're going to want to hold the power button for 8 seconds so that you hear a second beep so that way it goes into safe mode. So let's do it here. There's one beep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, seven seconds. There was a second beep. All right, so now it should go into safe mode here. Okay, here we are. Sorry that this cable's in the way, but you need to use your USB and plug it into your controller so that way it syncs up with the console. So just press the PlayStation button, and there we go. We are now in safe mode for the PS4. What you want to do is you want to go down to initialize PS4 but pick the one that says reinstall system software click on that it says connect a USB storage device that contains an update file reinstallation for 3.55 or later we have that we have 3.55 we can push OK alright so after the please wait screen this will pop up that says the ps4 will be initialized all users and all data will be deleted are you sure you want to continue yes because we have everything backed up um aside from the applications but we got our saves backed up and yeah it should all still be there so once again do not be alarmed if the playstation turns off it's just resetting itself, getting out of safe mode there. And now we got the system software update. And yeah, we should be good to go. So I'll say please wait. That should take about five minutes, that'd be my guess. <laughs> Unless I'm completely wrong. Yeah, it should only take like three minutes. We'll come back when that's all done. So after the system software is updated, it will once again turn off, PlayStation being PlayStation. But yeah, then it should have like a brand new screen for you. It's not going to look anything like your old one. It's going to look as if it was brand new. Um, now before that, you're going to want to set up your console as if it was brand new. So we're going to do that pretty soon. Just like setting the time, date. Um, language settings internet I'm not gonna do internet just for the sake of this video so we can speed up through this there we go now I gotta reconnect my dual shock so I'll just be a minute okay so I got all that sorted out now I can pick my language And then we should have a brand new screen. See, look, all my users are gone. And none of this is familiar, just Call of Duty. Um, yeah, so if we go into settings, what is it? System storage management. I got 1.7 terabytes. Woohoo! Um, so, what is it? Um, the operating operating system and like the main applications on the PS4 are gonna take up a little bit, so it's not gonna be the full two gigabytes. But otherwise, you got a ton more room for the system storage, and that is fantastic. All right, so now that's all done. What we can do is we can take out the 
system software update and put in the backup save that we made for our data on the old hard drive. There we go. Um, you might have an external hard drive or a USB if that wasn't working, but remember my applications are not on there, so I'm going to have to reinstall them, unfortunately. But otherwise, um, my saves will still be on the cloud, my videos in the capture gallery will still all be there, and yeah, and my users should also be on there too. So, let's go into the settings, back to square one basically, we're going to go to system down to backup and restore I'm going to restore the ps4 and then there's the file right there 16 gigabytes worth of capture gallery and um applications and photo not applications but like save data and stuff you're gonna select that and then restore remember that uh once you restore it all the data will be deleted on the hard drive we got nothing on this new hard drive so we can restore immediately it's gonna give you another warning just select yes and there we go. Um, now, remember when we were backing up the PlayStation, it took about an hour or two. This is going to take about another hour or two because the files went onto the USB stick and now they got to go back. So this will take a little bit of time so you can go eat dinner or get a haircut like I did. That's what I did while I was waiting for it to uh, back up. Now we got to wait for it to restore. But that's basically it for the tutorial. So thank you everybody so much for watching. Um, I also gotta show you guys how to take your files from the cloud and put them onto this hard drive. But yeah, otherwise it'll just prepare to restore and then I will come back when that's all done and I'll show you guys how to put your files from the cloud if you did not have an external hard drive. So I will be back shortly. Alright, there we go. The backup is all done. As you can see, my users are there. Haha. -ha. Now if this loads up, aha, see, this is pretty much exactly the same as it was when we started the video. And uh, yeah, so as you can see, my applications are gone. Um, but no biggie, they should still be, what is it, in the library. Yep, everything I had on disk is still there, I think. Oh wait, no, none of the disks are there, but um, every game that I bought online is still there and uh, basically what I have to do is I just have to reinstall all of those at the bottom again but that's not a big deal all of my capture gallery stuff is still there the users are still there um, my theme is still in the background that beautiful beautiful theme yeah that's pretty much the tutorial video thank you everybody so much for watching and uh, uh, I really hope you found this video helpful if you have any questions whatsoever or maybe something didn't work out then uh, please let me know in the comments. I'll try to get to you as soon as I can. You can f ask me on Twitter also. It's just Mr. Underscore Noli, N-O-L-L-I-E. And uh, yeah, I'll try to answer your questions as soon as I can. But yeah, that's pretty much it. All I have to do is just reinstall some apps. But if your ex extra external hard drive worked when it was backing everything up and you didn't have to use a USB stick, then uh, all your applications should still be there and you don't have to re-download anything because it'll all be on that new hard drive just waiting for you. Hey everyone, just a quick update before I end the video. Um, I reinstalled all of my games and as you can see that takes up 554 gigabytes so I did have to delete a couple games to make room but we got 1.19 terabytes remaining so I could have all my games and still have like a ton of room. Like, like I said, that only takes up like 30%, 40% of my actual hard drive space. I got a ton of room for that. But thank you everybody so much for watching. I really hope uh, the video was helpful in some way. And until next time, I shall see you guys all later. Bye-bye.